You know why you don't see too many big guys, strong guys in the gym these days? It's because everybody's doing machines and a lot of gym, gyms have uh, weight assisted uh, machines. They work the perfect uh, movement pattern like for side delt, rear delt, chest flies. You know, you got all these machines for these uh, isolation exercises and that's great. But let me tell you, you cannot rely on them if you don't have that much muscle to begin with at the beginning of your workout. You wanna perform these isolation exercises at near the end of your workout. You wanna start up with some free weights, being dumbbells and barbells. For any muscle group, you gotta do that, train uh, moderately heavy, around the six to 12 uh, rep range, and that'll put on not only size, but strength too. Not your one max strength, but just in strength in general. And over time, you'll be stronger. You'll be putting five pounds um, of weight on each on each side of the bar, or five pounds on the dumbbell every time you uh, every other week. So yeah, nothing wrong with doing um, isolation work, but do that at the end. But just like say, take an example, chest. You do the pressing movements, flat bench, incline, decline. Maybe do a hammer strength machine for the incline. Then you move on over to flies, which is isolation, which is a, a free weight. Or you can do um, um, the um, cable flies, or if there's a machine fly machine like the pec deck, uh, you know, then then move on, move on over to that. But I see guys, they just start off with the isolation. And throughout the workout, I don't know what particularly they're working on, maybe it's a full body or upper body, but they'll just do machines. And I see countless people just do machines and cable machines with the back I would start with the barbell or dumbbell like a dumbbell row go heavy um, you know work your grip don't use straps work your dick grip with the like a seated or bent over uh, dumbbell row see how much you can do and then uh, later on move on to the lat pull down lat pull down it's not really isolation because it's a multi-joint exercise you're using your bicep, you know, your elbow, so it's a multi-joint compound. It's on, it's on a uh, cable to the apparatus. Yeah, you can do that at the beginning or as a second exercise and then the seated, seated row. But I need another for back, like the one kind of like the, you have the uh, dumbbell pullover or you have even the cable pullover, a standing pullover, which you do with the cable machine. That also, you can do that near the end of your workout. Yeah, there was something used to be called like a pre-exhaustion pre technique where you would do an isolation exercise before your free weight. So like, you would do the flies before you're uh, pressing. I would say for strength, uh, it's probably not a good thing, but for like stimulation and hypertrophy, maybe, maybe. But see, remember, you cannot give enhanced uh, fitness training program routine to a natural you know there's two, there's two you cannot do the same that's why you cannot work out like the pros you cannot do the exact workouts like Ty Green or Ronnie Coleman and them yeah you can do the exercises but exactly what they do you can't as a natural because you're not taking those androgens you're not taking anabolics these guys can do chest on a Monday and on back the next day do chest again they'll barely be sore because of the gear so don't try to you know mimic the programs of the pros you got to do what's time tested and what uh, general knowledge and general what the general uh, thought is about training where you gotta bulk and cut you gotta do um, 10 sets you got three to four exercises body split you can do that you can do um, pull day push day or yeah, you can do that uh, two, twice a week. You can do upper body, you can do chest and back, many ways. But yeah, when you're starting off, body split works. That's what the pros do. But they can do more volume because they're they're getting assistance. While a natural cannot, a natural has to uh, press the brakes and say, hey, I'm done for the day, not too many uh, volume, not too many sets, not to you know, fatigue the muscle so much because then you gotta recover. If you're not well recovered, then you're not gonna do that muscle again until it's uh, fresh. So 
say you did a, a chest Monday, then you probably have to do it again the next Monday, or you could probably do it sometime later in that week. If um, you you didn't do as much uh, sets in volume per per session, you can come back and do another chest workout, a light one. You can do one a max upper day, light day. That I see countless people rely on too much on isolation. And I like to do isolation too, especially it's good when it's cutting season. You know, when you're uh, conditioning, when you're losing weight, when your calorie deficit, you want to maintain and preserve your muscle. So, you, you know, you're in a deficit of calories. You're probably doing more cardiovascular exercise. After cardiovascular exercise, you probably want to do something quick to stimulate the pump. Do the, do the, do the isolations. But when it comes to adding on mass and size in the off season or in the fall, then you wanna you wanna do um, you wanna do the time and tested free weights, compounds, and high intensity training, which I didn't discuss. High intensity training with just enough volume, not too much volume. Yeah, these kinds of things are complicated, but not really. Holy shit, this fucking idiot behind me. Anyways, yeah, start doing more free weights. I know sometimes people, maybe they don't know, maybe it does take a while to set up with the barbells. It's time consuming to warm up and then take plates off. While when you go on an isolation machine, you can just get it, feel the muscle work, and you will feel the muscle work. But it's really meant for people with the size already. You know, say you have you you are, you you have a big shoulders, the deltoid muscle, and already you have the separation of the of the side, the front, and the rear. You can go on the um, rear delt pec deck machine and really isolate the rear delts. With someone who doesn't have the muscle, they'll, it's going to be kind of awkward to them because neurologically, their nervous system has to understand what's getting worked and they have to adapt and at the same time uh, they probably won't put on as much muscle as somebody who already has muscle there already that's all that's all for the video uh, just a little uh, something I've seen in a while that could probably be it why you don't really see guys getting big you know in the bulking season maybe they get a little bit of fat but either way they got to get that muscle and power and size and even you know they're more athletic because they got the calories they got you know they got the training down set good they got you know the movement patterns down good and that's that's when you grow you grow you grow when you train with intensity and intensity does also mean training heavy too Recruiting as much muscle fibers as possible, which you do with the compounds with isolation. There you go again. You don't isolation uses less uh, motor units and less muscle fibers. So you want to do that near the end of your workout. That's it. That's what I have to say about isolation movements. I do them, but more importantly, I like to do my uh, free weights compound lifts because that's what um, mimics uh, sports and the fitness and athleticism moving a bar moving a barbell and then just using as much weight as possible and just um, you know going through the movement pattern if you can really really get good practice on a movement you get that muscle memory and you remember that movement pattern then you're just gonna get better. If you see a lot of the, the power lifters, the way they bench, it's the same method, same way. They, 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 everything is proper. Every, uh, one, every little step, cue is spot on. And they, they, they every, it's like a checklist. They check everything up. You know, is my elbows is the is the um, elbow bent, 45. Um, you know, how much uh, elbow the uh, wrist angle you're using? Uh, is your legs tucked in? Uh, are you, you know, your back? Are you arching your back? Is, it, is your butt tight? Do you put pressure in your stomach? 
you know, put air in your stomach before the liftoff, all these things, you know, using leg drive, lift off the legs, tighten the, tighten the legs and the glutes, you know, all these, all these different things you got to do with the compound lifts. So that's it. If you want to get big really quickly, you got to do the free weights. You got to do the free weights, heavy, intense. Then you grow. After do the isolation. That's the secret. It's no rocket science. It's no, um, you know, complicated stuff. It's, it's it's tried and tested. Very simple approach. So that's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Now I'm driving. We'll make another video in the future discussing something else. Stay tuned.